very good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking first i would like to say that i really enjoy making these weekly analysis videos it's not only helping you to decide your position for the upcoming week but also it is in the end an educational purposes videos it shows you how we can predict the market's movement using support and resistance and price action so I really cannot make a forecast for all of the pairs that's why I'm doing only for six pairs because the video should not be that long but you can use the same method to predict the other pairs now thankfully my predictions are uh, most of them are accurate and it has high winning ratio of course not all of them will work that is totally normal that is how it works so it would be really nice if you can uh, learn from these videos not only just watch it to know what you will do but also learn from it so you can apply these uh, methods by yourself on other pairs because believe me what i'm teaching you here it does work on all pairs so hold on <clears throat> so now let's check the pairs and let's start with the euro usd as usual um on the four hour chart on the euro usd we can see right now that we are approaching a very strong support level represented by this long week here right here and in the past we can see that it was also a support right here but however if we go to the daily chart we can see different thing what we can what we can see right now on the daily chart that we have here this support level and this one as well and this one as well all of them has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and right now the market has shown at this bottom we can see these long tails uh, representing a very strong rejection on breaking this level meaning the pair is gonna bounce but however we can see that there is a retest level meaning the pair is not expected to go up at the meantime we need to wait for the euro usd to go a little bit more down all the way to this level here let me just zoom in better yeah that's better so we need to wait for the euro usd to bounce from this breakout and go down to this support level uh, I think it is like uh, almost 33 to 35 pips before we can start buying the euro USD. So in other words, we better wait for the euro USD to go down all the way to 1.10693, and from that point we can start buying the euro USD. Keep your position all the way until, let's be safe, uh, 1.11507. That should be approximately 82 pips of profit. So hopefully the euro USD will move uh, as per this prediction. And if we want to be ev even more sure, I believe if we, if we go to the we uh, weekly chart, yeah, on the weekly chart, we can see it even more, more obvious. What we can see on the weekly chart is this support in the past. Look at it. Then you have this support as well. This one here and this one and finally we have this one and right now we are on this support and we can see how the candle look at that oh look at how weekly how the weekly candle closed as a pin bar so most likely the market is going to reverse at this point um maybe we can push our luck and we can expect the pair to move all the way up to this resistance that could be about 1500 uh, pips but i prefer to be safe uh, let me show you something by the way last week I have predicted for the euro USD to go all the way up to this level I believe to this level uh, euro USD was uh, sorry to this level I think euro USD was indeed going up but something happened on Wednesday evening we can see here we had the FOMC news on the euro USD or sorry on the USD it hit them at uh, 10 p.m. Wednesday night and that has affected the pair very badly we can see how it went all the way almost 100 130 pips now I'm relying on this uh, strong rejection at the level these long tails representing a strong uh, rejection and the pair was not able to break from this level and therefore a bounce is expected but again I'm telling you it's not gonna happen immediately we better wait for the pair to bounce down before we start buying it and we can keep our position until this resistance and honestly I believe 
that the euro USD can continue to go all the way up to this resistance if we didn't have any unexpected news or something happened that affect uh, the dollar moving to the pound USD let me tell you the pound if we go to the four hour chart has been moving really st uh, strongly down with this very strong uh, bearish uh, momentum and it didn't uh, make that much of bounces however uh, if we go to the four hour chart we can expect that the pair continue to go more down right let's check the daily chart daily chart is showing also that the pair most likely will continue to go more down actually let me tell you that buying or selling the pound is really dangerous at the meantime because of the unexpected unexpected news about uh, the UK government it's totally totally not stable right now and I would really advise if you want to be safe and keep your uh, daily earnings to avoid pound in total but if we must make any forecast here let's go now to the weekly chart what do we see on the weekly chart we can see that the pound has finally approached this support level and this was one of the strongest support levels on the chart so far on we are on the weekly chart as well so after breaking from this support level we can see that we had the support here and the pound has broken from this support meaning it will go all the way down until it bounces at the next support or sorry the nearest support which is right here so pound if we need to uh, 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 give it a technical review it's this, it is supposed to go up it is supposed to bounce on this support level and go all the way until it hit this previous support let me zoom in so from technical view again the pound USD is supposed to bounce on this support level and go all the way up to hit this previous support right here however po uh, the pound is really not stable again I'm telling you because of the UK government news and updates about Brexit and uh, Mr. Johnson's uh, arrival to the government as the, as the new PM so it's really dangerous we are talking about 220 pips 200, 220 pips yeah uh, we need to be careful I'm telling you from technical view but again we need to be careful I advise you to stay away from the pound for the meantime until we can see what will gonna happen on Monday or Tuesday uh, let's go to the monthly chart and we can see it even more in action this support level is really strong and the pair has finally approached it that's why I'm really expecting for a small reversal only to hit this previous support and then it might continue going more down but this is more reversal we're talking about is not really that small we're talking about 200 even maybe 300 pips so again be careful that is my advice for you uh, from technical view it is supposed to go up but we have to wait to see what will gonna happen let's now go to the AUD USD uh, AUD USD has been falling down for like a really long time for almost two weeks it is still going more down uh, it has bounced from the support level sorry from this resistance right here and went down almost 260 pips uh, let's check the AUD USD from the weekly chart always remember that if you want to analyze the pair for the upcoming week you never use the smaller time frames don't use any smaller time frame than four hour chart it is preferable if you use weekly and monthly so you can know your position in the market exactly so right now even with this very strong bearish momentum that the AUD, is, AUD USD has made we can see that we are now approaching a really strong support level look at that we have the support here the breakout happened and we have this support here and the very bottom of this week here or the sorry the tail and now AUD USD has approached this level it's expected now to be bouncing and going up also to this resistance now this is of course monthly chart this is way too much now going to the daily chart we can see that the AUD USD kept going for almost two weeks without any bound without any pullbacks unless or sorry until it hit this support level and the candle closed as the doji we can see right here meaning there is a very big chance that AUD USD should be good for buy immediately and we can expect it to keep going up and uh, to be safe I will expect it to go up all the way 
until this previous support right here we are talking about almost 100 uh, pips of profit but I would advise you if you just wait and see what will gonna happen on the AUD USD uh, it's expect I prefer if I was going to place any buy order here it will be only on this support level right here on 0 0.67808 I would not advise to go uh, to, to start buying the AUD USD before that or let me just be even more clear uh, let's see four hour one hour yeah seems legit yes as I told you that should be fine that should be good level to start buying the AUD USD on 0 0.67820 and keep your position all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here meaning we are looking up to almost 70 pips of profit for the AUD USD and then we can we need to wait to see any price action what will can what will the candle react to this level when it approach the retest of this broken support that will all be clear once the candle finish the retest what we are going to trade right now is the retest we need to wait for the candle to come to this resist uh, previous support retesting this level and let's hope for the best let's now go to the USD CAD all right USD CAD doesn't seem to be go up at this point let me tell you something if we go check the daily chart for the USD CAD we can see that we have reached here also a very strong resistance level and this level was acting very strongly in the past we can see the resistance as here and here and it was also a support in the past and right here and right here it was a resistance then we can have it here and finally now we are on the price action on this resistance USD CAD seems to be really going down at this point I don't think it's going up uh, let me tell you we can keep selling the USD CAD but not for that long by the way let me just be accurate I believe until this level if I'm not wrong USD CAD should be good for sell only for this level or 1.31598 but after that we need to see the price action how it will re uh, react to this support level because in the past this was really strong resistance and support level we can see right here and right here and even right here that's why I decide to choose this level if you want to start sell a USD CAD you can do it immediately at the opening of Monday keep your position for approximately 40 pips and then close the trade hopefully it will be good uh, and easy money uh, for you after that I believe we can say that in general uh, USD CAD is going up in general we need to wait and we need to see the pair uh, reaching this previous support let me just zoom in because this is really not good uh, we need to wait for the USD CAD to reach this uh, previous support like that and we can see that trend is going up therefore this level here is good for buy but again we need to wait for the price action to see how the USD CAD will react to this level in general USD CAD is going up but that will be taking like a month or two so you cannot uh, just uh, start buying now and keep your position no you need to wait uh, until the right moment so that's why I'm telling you for the meantime for the upcoming week USD CAD should be good for sell and you can keep your position uh, for approximately 40 pips and that's it should be fine for the meantime before we continue uh, our trades all right <clears throat> let's go to the USD GPY USD GPY seems to be like going again more down uh, we can see last two days was pretty bad USD GPY went up as I predicted but uh, last two days it just phew, went down so it seems like to be going even more and more down I don't think it's gonna go up at this point uh, if we want to predict the, US, the USD GPY I believe it should be good for sell let me just be accurate as much as possible could be to this level but I don't I doubt it with this very strong bearish momentum so let's go to the weekly chart and check let me tell you that I'm really enjoying doing this because I want you guys to be with me when I'm analyzing uh, I have seen one of the comments 
telling me why you are not preparing everything before recording and the answer is I really enjoy to show you that we are analyzing together I'm discussing with you or actually with myself but I'm just uh, thinking loudly and just you know just want you to be with me when I'm thinking and analyzing the pair I swear to God I never open any chart before recording all of them just happening right now I'm just looking at the chart and I'm giving it a technical view immediately I'm not even checking before recording so again let's now go to the USDGPY if I want to be really accurate here uh, on the weekly chart let's just uh, think carefully my friends yes I believe the USDGPY is going to continue to go more down all the way until the, uh, it hit this previous support however it is not the best time to start selling USDGPY we need to wait for it to reach this resistance uh, before it was here a resistance and then here we see the broken support and this bearish breakout candle broke from that support meaning if we go to the daily chart I just want to be accurate as much as possible we need to wait for the USD GPY to go up about 41 pips before we start uh, our sell order Let, let's just be more accurate my friends I'm, I'm just not feeling satisfied with this uh, just trying to be as much as accurate as possible to give you the best forecast uh, I can give yeah we we can expect for the USD GPY to go up uh, to go up all the way until 1.107.04 uh, now let me explain why did I select this point here again that is because of hit and run rules that the pair after the breakout usually uh, the retest will end at the nearest support or resistance to the breakout so in this example the nearest uh, support to the to the bearish breakout is right here that's why I'm expecting the pair at least to go up make a wick or something and then it will start going more down uh, until it hit that support level we talked about in the uh, earlier which is right here uh, let's say right here exactly so we can look up to almost 145 pips of profit uh, yeah that should be really good level to start selling the us the usd gpy on 107.204 uh, hopefully it will be accurate and the market will follow uh, and go down let's now check let's now check the usd chf usd chf seems to be like going down as well we can see that there's there we had these two attempts of the resistance oh, sorry we're on the weekly chart okay okay good let's check the 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 usd chf has bounced from these two strong resistance levels and it has now approached this uh, support but i believe the pair will continue to go more down therefore usd chf should be good to start selling right here and let me explain again why here because in the past this level was very strong support here as well and here as well and lately we can see this small wick right here let me just zoom in and to show you check out this this guy here this small wick here is on daily chart showing me that this was a very strong resistance level we can see it was here a strong resistance and in the past it was a support as well meaning the pair should come all the way to this level again retest it and then to continue go more down so i'm expecting that the usd chf should be good to start uh, selling after bouncing from the support almost 50 pips then we can start selling the usd chf on 0 0.98724 and we, we can keep our position for approximately 160 pips uh, until it hit this previous support right here on 0 0.97185 hopefully the USD CHF will be loyal and it should uh, follow the pairs sorry follow the technical view and it will go down as expected now last thing let's check the gold I know so many of you prefer gold um, let's see gold however and my friends by the way 
this sudden movement on the gold I believe it has something to do with the FOMC news on uh, last uh, Wednesday maybe anyway we will see now what we're gonna do with the gold because I actually at, I'm telling you I really don't like to predict the gold at all it's so sensitive however gold has been reaching the maximum of the level at the resistance and we can see it it went up all the way to hit this resistance but in the end it failed to break out from it hmm interesting meaning uh, not only that but we can see on the daily chart my favorite price action is right here indicating that the market is supposed to be going down and reversing at this point so what we can do right now don't rush just wait for the gold if you see it reach up all the way to this resistance again exactly on the, uh, 1445 you can start selling the gold but don't keep your position for a long time you can just keep it until it hit this previous uh, resistance exactly right here on 1434 that should be a good almost 100 pips but don't keep your position higher than that the movement is really strong uh, the bullish momentum is really strong my friends and therefore yes it is really uh, advised to be careful when you trade gold most likely we are going to only scalp it and that's why I'm just keeping this uh, forecast for the short period where you can only sell the gold at this level and exit here exactly it is not that short it is 100 pips but in the forex terms uh, that is just a scalping because we are just entering short trade so yeah that was my forecast for the gold uh, and hopefully it will be following the technical views without any unexpected news uh, occurs on Monday or this week so my friends I really wish everyone my friends I wish you a very successful and profitable week hopefully it will be a very promising and good week for us and until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching